वेलकम पीपल लेट इट स्टार्ट ऑफ विद द चैप्टर न्योप्लेसिया नाउ नाउ वी हैव टू लुक एट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ न्योप्लेसिया सो न्योप्लेसिया जस्ट लुक एट दिस डायग्राम इफ इट जस्ट गिव्स यू एनी आइडिया नॉर्मल सेल्स आर हियर एंड हियर कैंसर सेल्स आर देयर ओके सो व्हाट डस इट टेल यू इट्स अ मास ऑफ टिश्यू फॉर्मड एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ लेट अस से अबनॉर्मल अबनॉर्मल मास ऑफ टिश्यू formed as a result of abnormal excessive uncoordinated autonomous purposeless proliferation of cells even after the cessation of stimulus for growth which caused it can you say it now neoplasia is abnormal mass of cells resulting from abnormal purposeless uncoordinated excessive proliferation of cells even after the cessation of the stimulus for growth which caused it something like that right abnormal mass of tissue formed as a result of abnormal excessive uncoordinated autonomous purposeless proliferation of cells even after cessation of stimulus for growth which caused it see there are five things here abnormal you should not forget abnormal excessive uncoordinated autonomous purposeless okay moving on time to look at the classification of tumors so you have benign malignant benign are uh, basically local you know they are not spreading they are in one place malignant means they are invading they are infiltrating and metastasizing so did you understand the difference between benign and malignant benign won't you know it is local it will not invade it will not infiltrate it will not metastasize but malignant will invade infiltrate metastasize okay so what do you mean by invade invade means it enters the it uh, the surrounding tissue the basement membrane it will invade infiltrate it will go beyond that okay with the, but it will be continuous infiltrate will still be continuous and when it's malign metastasis means it will get discontinuous it will spread and it will become discontinuous spread that will be metastasis anyways we'll come to the differences later okay malignant is more dangerous they say benign usually is not that dangerous because it does not spread to other parts okay but still if it is in the brain or something you know it can still be dangerous only because it will compress okay so let us move on to the classification tumors can be of one parenchymal cell type so it can be epithelial or non epithelial that will be mesenchymal so if it is epithelial then you can have uh, in benign if it is benign it will be like let's say adenoma in malignant it will become adenocarcinoma carcinoma means it is malignant and from epithelial tissue is it clear what do you mean by carcinoma carcinoma is malignant and epithelial okay those two combination will come okay carcinoma and sarcoma if it is carcinoma it will be malignant epithelial if it is sarcoma it will be malignant and from mesenchymal okay non epithelial it will be so who understood this part did you understand what we just said we said that if it is carcinoma it will be malignant and epithelial if it is sarcoma it will be malignant and non epithelial very good now let's go back here and look at the classification so if it is coming from squamous epithelium it will be squamous cell <coughs> papilloma here it will be malignant would be squamous cell carcinoma if it is malignant okay glandular epithelium adenoma adeno carcinoma similarly if it is hepatocytes which are affected and if it is benign it will be liver cell adenoma if it is malignant it will be hepatocellular carcinoma hcc hepatocellular carcinoma hepatoma don't use you will get confused because it is sounding very benign but actually it is malignant so hepatocellular carcinoma you can say hcc okay hepatoma is nothing but hepatocellular carcinoma but it's a misnomer it's actually malignant okay then let's move on to the other examples which are easy as of now we'll look off look off at them the non epithelial like let's say uh, fibrous tissue fibroma fibrosarcoma lipoma liposarcoma if it's adipose tissue it is lipoma liposarcoma sleeping no you don't know where we are also i know we are here 
adipose tissue lipoma liposarcoma fibrous tissue fibroma fibrosarcoma cartilage chondroma chondrosarcoma these are all very easy they all follow the rule that we are seeing no uh, misnomer no uh, wrong if it is chondroma chondrosarcoma fibroma fibrosarcoma lipoma liposarcoma bone osteoma osteosarcoma no difference here everything is following the rule sarcoma means malignant and non epithelial that rule it is following look at this one now smooth muscle leiomyoma leiomyosarcoma so what is leiomyoma tell me what leiomyoma is leiomyoma means it is the benign neoplasia of smooth muscle very good baby very good now look at this one hemangioma hemangioma is the benign condition benign neoplasia of blood vessel and the counterpart will not be hemangiosarcoma it is angiosarcoma hemangiosarcoma should have been they've just removed heme so it is angiosarcoma it's nothing but heme angiosarcoma hemangioma hemangiosarcoma hemangiosarcoma is nothing but angiosarcoma understood right meninges meningioma invasive meningioma okay here invasive word is there slightly different only you will not get so confused i don't think so hmm? then some other names are there you can learn them when you have time so if it is mixed tumor in salivary gland they have pleomorphic adenoma pleomorphic adenoma is a mixed tumor not only from one cell type and um, if it is malignant it will be malignant mixed salivary tumor moving on down if tumor is more than one germ cell layer then it will be if it involves actually all the three germ cell, uh, germ layers it will be teratoma if it is uh, mature teratoma it will be benign if it is immature teratoma it will be malignant imagine immature is malignant so please tell us what do you mean by mature teratoma and immature teratoma mature teratoma is actually benign and immature teratoma is actually malignant teratoma means it is arising from more than one germ cell layer actually if all the three germ cell layers are involved you can see it is teratoma let us look at the definition so teratoma is basically it is having mixed uh, tissue types okay and they arise from totipotent cells derived from the three germ layers ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm so what are you understanding here it has various tissue types they are arising from totipotent cells which are actually coming from all the three germ layers ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm mostly these teratomas will be in ovaries etc okay so you can see an example of teratoma here actually can you imagine the ovary containing teeth hair etc that is what it is it can become anything it can even become thyroid gland so these become teratomas okay they can become anything there because they are from the germ cell layer they are from the totipotent cell they can become anything now coming to what you mean by hamartoma this hamartoma is actually benign you know here there is a mixture of uh, things like mature disorganized cells of tissue indigenous to particular organ like let's say hamartoma of lung you can see here hamartoma of lung what will happen it will have mature cartilage smooth muscle and epithelium it looks like you know the tissue elements which comprise the bronchus are present okay but in jumbled up mass so it is kind of difficult for you to understand at the moment i think see hamartoma is like um this organized or organized cells of tissue okay indigenous to that particular organ like in the in whatever you find in bronchus those elements are present in the lung so that is like hamartoma okay coming to this terminology choristoma actually it is not a true tumor ectopic island of normal tissue normal tissue is it but found in the wrong place is uh, choristoma but actually it is not a true tumor okay so in this video what and all we have seen we started off with neoplasia we saw what and all we will study in this chapter 
we started off with the definition and then we looked at the classification of tumors. Then we looked at some special terms, teratoma, hamartoma. In the next video, we will look at uh, this, uh, what is the difference between benign malignant, the roots of metastasis, then uh, molecular basis of cancer, hallmarks of cancer, oncogenes, tumor suppressor genes, etc. Okay. Then we will also cover molecular basis of cancer, carcinogens, tumor markers, tumor immunology and uh, Epstein-Barr virus, virus carcinogenesis, all that we have to look at. Chemical carcinogenesis, physical carcinogenesis, all these are important for exam, okay? So come prepared for the next video. Bye-bye.